Okay, this is a reply to why I do replies to my own videos. Now, if you notice the rash of fresh brand new videos, I don't really do them that much. I might start thinking about something and then come out with it. But lately, I've been doing replies to replies. I'll read some of what you say after you watch these videos. And then if I catch one that interests me, then I'll reply to the video. I think in one video I actually said the person's name, but I won't do that. I want to come off like I'm just talking to somebody, and maybe that person will understand, oh shit, he's talking to me. Exactly. I want to make this a random, a random account of explanation, so to speak. So, when certain people reply to my videos, and I see a pattern of replies, there's a few people that watch me pretty good and you know I appreciate those people um, I have to keep up with what they want because I don't want nobody watching old videos and thinking oh my god he's off the kilter no I'm on the kilter every time whatever a kilter is so let me keep on going move forward on that one so in other words I appreciate what you say and the only people that can correct me are those who subscribe to me because if I see you're a non-subscriber and you say something I'm like oh I know she didn't. Let me see what she got on her site. Because remember YouTube jail. The only reason YouTube jail hasn't been going on or haven't gone on is because of the video problems I'm having. You know, you got to earn some money to buy new cameras. And YouTube jail worked pretty goddamn good. But all of a sudden, I think since YouTube changed their video players, the quality of these videos aren't coming out. You know, I have been trying to set it to, you know, 640 by whatever. <clears throat> because when you go in it starts and it always shrinks the video down and I don't know why but then like someone says when uh, YouTube uploads it they stretch the video back out and it's screwed so I'm not trying to to give people a bad poor quality and YouTube jail was something special and those are people out there I promise I was going to jail and I still know who the hell you are so you will be YouTube jailed getting back to the video reply why I reply to my own video replies that I replied to whatever so this is why mainly because I want to express myself to those people who truly watch my videos so you know you say something one time I might not say nothing I might not even reply to it but then you might say something one day and you see a reply on my video like okay there's a video reply by him to his own video what is he saying if you really super touch me and I'm like this motherfucker no I can't believe it I will say your name but if it's one of those things like okay okay I need to give this person an explanation and maybe other people didn't feel as if they could ask that question because he did or she did so somebody just asked me something about um, something so I said something about it and you know hopefully I got something accomplished you know who you are, don't you? Now, um, what else? I know I've been babbling the last couple of videos. You can tell my videos when you watch my videos. There will probably be five you know, videos with the same background or three with the same background. Or, you know, there's a background, different lighting. Or, you know, the what I'm going to start using now is I like, you know, the light on the side of one face. I might start using that more. Um, the theatrical music, someone asked me about it. I did a reply to uh, Sergeant Willie Pete. A lot of people liked it, so I used the music sometime. It failed in trying to explain the, the prom dress, but please, people are stupid. They want to call me dumb and, you know, make fun of that video, but, you know, if I had it the way I wanted to, I could have showed you pictures of several girls who actually got into the prom wearing less than what that girl did. And I actually saw the, the the pictures from proms all across America, you know, where people actually were let in the prom with less on than that girl had in that video. So I'm going to let that go because I'm still getting flack over that. Okay. Hmm. Names I don't like to be called. You already know what names I don't like to be called. Hmm. My favorite color. It's none of your business. My favorite numbers the number 99 um, my favorite food to eat anything I don't have to pay for 
Hmm. The most I ever made working on a job, $4,000. Oh, one day on the job. That should be done. Um, the best car I ever owned was a Jaguar. Um, my happiest moment, the day I got married. My unhappiest moment, the day I got divorced. Second happiest moment, two weeks after that when we got back together. The moral of the story is this. Life is good and bad. Things happen for a reason. And if I'm going to reply to my own videos to let those who truly watch my show understand this one's for you. Sometimes I even I've done a few shows for people. Not too long ago somebody showed me something and I promised him I would do something big. And I thought I did something big, but I didn't get much reply off that. If you can tell me in any video what I did that was uncharacteristic of any of my videos, you ask me a question on camera and I will give you two videos back. If you can tell me which video that I went completely over the top with as far as overall feel if you tell me if you pick the right video we will do a, a talk or discussion and it will be me and you one on one discussing whatever you want to discuss you know I, I will hit you back and let you know yeah you figured it out you was the first one figured it out um, send me a little quick two second questionnaire you can you know do it Willie Pete style or whatever um, and then I will hit you back directly directly okay and you will be the one I'm only going to do this one time I don't do contests but this is like a trivia those people who truly pay attention to me I'm going to start asking you questions about these videos and I'm going to start hooking you up because I'm going to start talking to my people um, there's a lot of nonsensical people out there of all colors so, you know, if you're a white person and you want to ask me, you know, why you've been going white for the last month, you know, then, you know, you, you answer that trivia question, I'll tell you. Normally, everybody, I have my phone on ring. I got it on vibrate. How can I help you, sir? Not much. Okay. All right, what time? Okay, okay. Yeah, we'll be there for her to, to receive. No problem. Yes, sir. Oh, shit. Matter of fact, I do got to go out there and do that right now. Thanks for reminding me. Well, see, I'm here. I'm, I'm babysitting, you know, Romo, so, you know, I can't really, <laughs> you know. Yeah. Come on, man. I, I can't call him Romeo. You know, it's not manly enough for a dog. You know, so, you know. Even though, it's, yeah, he's a miniature, so, you know. What, what would you name him? D-O-G. <laughs> Doji, huh? You sick, man. I had a cousin they called D-O-G. I mean, his actual name was D-O-G. I'm like, God damn, what was they thinking? All right, man, so um, I'll be on call tomorrow, no problem. No problem. Everything will be on. Well, nothing. I just got to get that camp and stuff ready and get ready for the big trip. I'm just getting my video material together. Well, I can talk to him. Uh, I don't know. That's a funny question. So let me let me call you right back. I got to finish something. I'll be right back. Okay. Sorry for the inconvenience, folks. Um, I'm on call for tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's like me. I work when I can. Ghetto Cab is inoperational because I got to drive him to work. And Ghetto Cab don't make enough money. You've been tubed. And I'm sorry I took the little excursion. Bye-bye.